Hey guys, Tom Mobile back again. Today I'm going to be talking about the Asus ROG 5 phone. This one's going to be releasing in May 2021. It is likely going to be around $1,500 USD. As you can see here, the back of the phone it looks very unique and nice. Got the little camera hump on the top. It got a white back, but got some curvatures and lines and everything everywhere. It just looks very high tech. Definitely screams out gamer design. It even have the logo that states Republic of Gamers right here. I like this little blue flap for the SIM card. Overall, very unique and nice design. And what I really like is this extra display right here. It is always changing. You can have different animation and it is customizable as well. And so this is something unique just to have on the back of the phone. And just in terms of the phone itself, it has like the latest um, processor in Android space, Snapdragon 888, 144 hertz refresh rate. A lot of the um, high-end phones such as the Galaxy S21 offer the 120 hertz refresh rate. But this one goes up to 144, which is uh, super smooth and you're going to notice it, especially if you do a lot of gaming. This is definitely the phone for you. Um, the 6000 milliamp battery is definitely the one of the highest on the Android space, if not the highest. It can basically last you a day or two, depending on your usage. But if you're constantly gaming, you would have no problem in terms of battery. It even has some uh, triggers on the side as well. There are some buttons on the top that you can um, utilize which can come in handy if you're playing a lot of games. It can never hurt to have too many buttons for shortcuts and everything like that. Take another deeper dive into like the little secondary display that they have here. You can customize it to see all different types of animation whether you're charging your phone, if you have an in incoming call that logo is going to come up. There's a charging logo and just other different customizable logo as well. So overall, a pretty unique touch to this phone. Snapdragon 888, as I talked about earlier. So super fast phone, 18 gigs of RAM. This is more than my Asus uh, laptop, actually. I do have an Asus gaming laptop. So definitely more RAMs than you would ever need on a phone. 512 gigabyte of storage which is huge and um, you're never going to run out of space on this phone either. In terms of specs, you have all the power you need to do heavy gaming on your phone. It has 144 Hz refresh rate. Um, basically the latest and greatest Gorilla Glass in the front. Every year they keep saying it is the toughest Gorilla Glass, but it is still not shatterproof. These guys will still crack and shatter if you drop them on the floor, so just be careful there. It even have a headphone jack, which is something a lot of um, gamer and enthusiasts would appreciate. If you have a really good set of headphones, you can utilize that and still take advantage of the headphone jack. If you're enjoying seeing videos like this, please take a moment to like and subscribe below. It even comes with an active cooler in the back just to keep your phone cool if you're doing some intense gaming. A lot of phones tend to heat up after a while, so this is a, definitely a nice accessory that does come with the phone. It also serves as a, a kickstand as well, which is unique if you want to just um, kick back and want to watch some videos on this phone. And these are the some of the motion controllers as well that it comes with. So you can see here in the demonstration, if you're just um, swerving your phone back and forth and flicking it forward, it can activate certain buttons. So a lot of different gestures and control that you have that don't always come with every phone. You even have a, a rear touch sensor. You can activate a little button here in the back corner and also the other corner as well so it doesn't hurt to always have additional buttons around the phone so you don't have to actually press on the screen itself touchscreen phones are not ideal for playing certain games but having external buttons will come in handy it has a left trigger and right trigger just like a typical game console controller and in addition to that it has the sensors and also the five cooler buttons as well that you can map Battery life itself is huge, 6,000 milliamp battery and even comes with a 65 watt charger which is super fast. iPhone 12 support 20 watt charging while the Galaxy S21 support 25 watt charging. So this is about three times the speed so definitely has all the charging power you need for your gaming needs as well. If your phone run out of battery you can pretty much charge this guy in like 10 to 15 minutes get at least like half a day of battery life there. You basically have two 3000 milliamp batteries on each side. Whereas 
some other phones you're lucky if you even have one 3000 milliamp battery but dual battery super fast charging is pretty much all you can ask for in a high-end gaming phone next they have different theme packs and everything as well that you can customize your phone with it's a lot of flexibility just to kind of show off all your favorite games and features so overall really cool stuff very nice um, preloaded wallpaper and everything like that that you can take advantage of it's got the ROG connect that you can play around with more features around the Wi-Fi 6 the game genie is available just to give you a little bit more control while you're gaming you don't want any pop-up or notification disturbing you they even have an extra charging port on the side typically the charging port is on the bottom of the phone but this one basically have two charging port one on the side and one on the bottom so as you're playing game and if you're charging your phone at the same time you don't want any wires getting in your way so just another unique touch yeah so that is the uh, quick look at the asus rog5 phone it's gonna be around fifteen hundred dollars so it's definitely a pricey phone but it comes with all the specs that you would be hoping to see on a high-end gaming phone some of the downside of the rog phone 5 ultimate is the lacquer micro sd but it does come with 512 gigabyte so that should be more than enough for most people and it does lack wireless charging but with 65 watt fast charging it more than makes up for it uh, let me know what you guys think about this phone are you gonna plan to get it will you get this over the galaxy s21 ultra if you enjoy seeing videos like this please remember to like and subscribe and see you guys next time